Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to the 509. Today I've got this knife that I just uh, recently purchased and I wanted to do a little bit of a review. Uh, I know I keep saying this on all my other knife videos, but this isn't necessarily a knife channel. But uh, I like collecting knives and uh, I just wanted to see about opening these up and sharing them with you. This is for the uh, Mountain Man 8 from Bark River Knives. So I bought this knife a little while back off of uh, Facebook called the Bark River Boys. Y'all should go and check that out. They got a lot of cool stuff there. But um, I bought this off of there and used it a few times and it works really well. Um, Here's the knife and uh, here's the sheath that it comes in or comes with. I don't know. I don't know that I would use this sheath unless I mainly just use it to transport the knife safely from point A to point B. Um, I mainly use a lot of these knives when I use them. Uh, I use them when I go to like my relative's house and they want me to cut up the ham or turkey or brisket or whatever we're doing. Uh, so I just take this and other knives with me as well. And I've got a Petty Z that I got a little while back as well that I'm gonna do a review on sometime. So stay tuned for that. Also stay tuned to the end of the video. I was using the knife, this Mountain Man 8 on a pork loin and uh, my wife, or not my wife, my daughter, videotape me for a few minutes and you can just kind of see it in action but uh here we go this is um <clears throat> this is the knife that's the blade of course it's got a little bit of a patina on it from where i've been using it and these uh scales are made of black ebony got a little bit of that coffin style shape right there but it uh it really is a cool knife I like I just love this blade style now one of my concerns when I was first considering buying one of these was the grip on it you know uh some people call it purchase but where you hold it here I thought when you go to cut I thought maybe you know, your knuckles were gonna interfere with the cutting board. But you can do one or two things. One, I just used it just like that. And it seemed to do fine. You know, you just pull it across and it, it cut fine with this pork loin that I'm gonna show you later. Uh, or the other thing you can do is you can pull your cutting board all the way to the edge of the table. Let's see if I can move this. Sorry about this tripod, it's not the best in the world, but you could pull it all the way to the end. Then your knuckles, can you see that? your knuckles will be off the edge of the table and you can cut this way or whatever, you know. Just put your cutting board to the end of the table. So anyways, I, I you know, considered using it either way, but the last time I just used it, you know, just like a regular knife, just cut and uh, it worked like a champ. Um, I've got the specs here that I got off of the Bark River website and uh, I'll just go over that with you real quick. Bear with me if you would. The overall length, of the uh, knife is 12 and a quarter inches. The blade length is eight inches, hence the name Mountain Man 8. The blade thickness is 0.093. And I'm gonna show you something here in a little bit. Now I deal here with sheet metal all the time, but I don't get into thicknesses that are this thick, maybe about half that or less uh, for the most part. So. I'll get with you in just a minute so you can kind of have a little bit better idea of the thickness of it. But um, the last thing on here is the blade steel. It's uh, A2. Some of them are made in 3V as well. But that's it. Okay, so what I decided to do in order for everybody else to get an idea of the thickness of it, I figured I'd get some change and put some coins together and off camera i came up with the thickness of approximately two pennies 
if that helps. That way you can, you know, if you're considering buying one of these, one of them comes up or whatever, you can know, you know, you can have just a decent idea of what the thickness of it's gonna be. A couple pennies, blade thickness. That should give you a pretty good idea. So here's the part of the video that I was mentioning earlier about using the Mountain Man 8 on a pork loin. My aunt just cooked this on uh, New Year's Day 2023. Came out really well, really tender. And as you can see, the Mountain Man 8 had no problem cutting it. As I was mentioning before about using the knife on a cutting board, and uh, maybe rubbing your knuckles or something on the cutting board itself. Uh, you can see here that there was no problem or issues with that at all. But it did a really good job. I highly recommend this knife. It's very well worth it. Okay, so that's going to conclude the video. Just wanted to take a moment to share this with you. I know that the uh, Mountain Man, either the 5 or the 8-inch model, I know that they're kind of hard to come by, but um, just wanted to show it to you in action. I hope you guys enjoyed that video of the pork loin. And also, if you can let me know what your thoughts are about this uh, using the change for a comparison. I had a hard time. Uh, just, you know, trying to envision the thickness of the blade without getting out a gauge or a uh, mic or something like that and figuring it out. Uh, but this way it can give everybody an idea of the thickness of the blade that y'all are going to be getting into, just like me. So I hope that helped and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you can share this video with your friends or family and uh, also subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. We'll see you back here at the 509. Take care.